Have you ever wondered what the difference is between vibrance and saturation in Lightroom and Photoshop? Well, today I'm going to be showing you this as well as how you can use this understanding in a creative way. And I'm going to start right now. So the saturation and vibrance layer are basically the same, but there is one fundamental difference between them, and not a lot of people know this. The vibrance layer just affects the mid-tone colors, where the saturation layer affects every single color within your photo, including brights, mid-tones, and darks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go and show you a representation, how you can creatively use this within your photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in to this photo. Now, this is a great representation of what the difference is. You've got some brighter areas on the right-hand side, you've got some mid-tones in the skin tones, and then over in the far left-hand side, or in the top area here where the hair is, we've got some shadows. Now, if I go ahead to the saturation layer first, and we increase that, as you can see, saturation has been increased across the photo. And as you can see, it ends up looking a little bit like color puke. Now, this is good in some instances, but otherwise it's just too much color. So we can use the vibrance layer to add a little bit more natural color, a little bit more pow into the photo without overdoing it, just because we're affecting the mid-tone colors. So what I'm gonna do is just turn that saturation layer back to zero and increase the vibrance layer here. Now, as you can see, it's increased the vibrance or saturation of the mid-tone areas. But if we go over to the highlights and especially over to the shadows, there is no change. So use the vibrance layer in more portrait photos, just naturally increase the saturation and then go ahead and use the saturation layer to overall add more saturation and add more impact to your photo.